In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a checkout form in Surecart that allows you to have multiple different pricing options. And what's neat about this is that these pricing options can be for the same product. In this case that you're looking at right now, this is my community membership where I have an annual and a monthly pricing. These can be for the same product or they can be for completely separate products. And it can be almost like you're choosing between two different products entirely on the same checkout form. This is really easy to do. It's all handled within Surecart right within your own website. You don't need any additional tools unless, of course, you wanted to add your form to a page like you're looking at right now, which is what I do. I just drop a short code right into Thrive Architect and it works great. So if you're interested in learning how to build a form like this with multiple pricing options, stick around and I'll show you how to do it. To get started, the first thing that you need is an actual form that has multiple pricing options. So let's look at my community membership product, which is what we are looking at on the form. And you can see that I have multiple pricing options. In fact, the form on the front end, if we go over here again, was annual and monthly. But you can see I actually have monthly, quarterly, and annual on the back end. And that's because on the form, I'm going to show you, you can choose which pricing options appear on the front end and then reserve maybe some of these other special options for things like upsells or order bumps or even just allowing it in the back end for upgrade groups so that the user can see this in the back end if they want to change their subscription and then have more options there. So once you have your pricing done on your product, it's time to head over to the Surecart Forms section by going to Surecart on the left hand side and then going to Forms. So let's walk through the process of setting up a form similar to how I set up my community membership one. Go ahead and click add new next to checkout forms and you can give your form a title from here you can choose a starting design some of them have added functionality uh, such as if you wanted to have like a, a donation form it looks very different a two column looks very different i'm just going to stick with the default form for the sake of this tutorial uh, but you can play around with whatever starting design you want to use and then i'm going to click the next button and here it wants you to add a product to your checkout form Here's the key for the price selector. You don't want to add a default product to the form because that would add a product no matter what to your form. And then any price selector options that you added would be in addition to the default product. So let's go ahead and leave this blank for now. And if you want to, you can set up a custom thank you page. Let's go ahead and click create. And by default, this is what it looks like. It's a very simple form. You can see that we have no product in this form section here that looks gray. If I click the little bag with a zero, you can see that by default there is no product in the form. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to add a price selector. The easiest way to do that is to the left of where you see my Thrive Architect button. There's these three lines and if you hover over it, it says document overview. I really like that uh, feature to be able to see an outline of the form that you're building. I like to come in here and I like to just select one of my uh, components of my form because I don't know if this is a bug or not, but that seems to activate this blue plus icon in the top left for us to be able to insert a block. I don't know if that's a bug. If yours is activated by default, you're looking to really just select up here this blue plus, and then we can scroll down and under Surecart here, we can find our price selector. The price selector block, I guess they're called, is under Surecart, and we scroll down and we find price selector. Here it is. So I'll just click this and drag it where I want it to go. I want mine to go right above this Google Pay button, which I might actually just get rid of anyway. But here we can see that we now need to add a choice. We'll click this box here that has a plus, and now it's asking us to select our product. We'll go ahead and continue with our community membership example. I'll choose the monthly option and then I'll add another price point by clicking here and add in, let's go ahead and add in our yearly option as well. Now what we can do is by having the price selector block selected, it's not a tongue twister, on the right hand side we have some options. You can add a label to this such as choose a plan, something like that, to kind of give them the idea that they're choosing a plan to purchase. And then you can decide whether or not they can select one or many. You can also choose whether you want this to show in one column or two. This would be a, perhaps a good option if you had four different uh, pricing points or more. It gives you more columns to use uh, for them to select. And now we need to select the price point individually. So I'm going to now click on monthly. And on the right hand side, you can see my options changed where I can now give each of these plans a label. And anything that I type into the label is going to replace what it says here, where it looks like the name of the product. So this I could put monthly membership, 
and the description field is where I can add a line underneath the label. So let's come down to the annual membership option and change this to maybe yearly membership and then add a description where we can say save 33% when you join annually, something like that. And since I want my average order value to be higher, I'm going to select checked by default on the annual membership in order to make sure that's the default membership selected when somebody reaches this form. You can do that with either one of these options simply by selecting the price point and toggling on checked by default. Now another toggle here on the right hand side is show control. We can toggle show control on and it adds this little like radio icon. Uh, for example, if we had chosen to select many, it would have been like check marks where the user could see that they are selecting multiple and it's not just a blue outline. I actually like that, so I'm going to leave that on. Now scrolling down, you can see here that the form is only going to be selling the community membership of the price point that's selected. So for example, if I select yearly membership and then I scroll down, it's just reflecting that on the back end. Remember, all that matters is that the membership level that we wanted or the price point that we wanted was checked by default. That's what's going to show on the front end. Now, remember how I said you don't want to have a product in this form section under this bag. You don't want to have a default product. Here's what happens if you add one. I'll go ahead and add a product and let me choose to add maybe my all access membership. Now you can see if I scroll down here to the summary, what's included is not only the price point that was selected for the membership, but the default product is also added to the cart. That might actually be useful for you. That might be something you're okay with. You just need to realize that by default, that is going to be put into the cart. And if your setup here is something like, okay, I'm selling an all access membership that gives access to all of my courses. And maybe in your example, your community is not included. In mine, community isn't included. But let's say it's not included in yours. In that case, it would be something like, get the all access membership, and then choose your billing cadence for the community membership, something like that. But in our case here, we do not want to have a default product. We just want whatever they select as a price point to be reflected in the cart. Now there's one more step that I feel is important when you're creating checkout forms, and that's to make sure they can't just remove the product from the checkout if you're building this to be like a funnel. It's a little bit different if you're building an add to cart checkout form, but in this case, I don't want this to be removed. So I'm going to select right here where it's the, uh, the block of the product. And you can see on the right hand side, I can untoggle removable so that they cannot remove it. And I also don't want them to be able to adjust the quantity. It would not make sense in my situation for them to buy multiple memberships. So I will untoggle editable, and that means they cannot edit the line item quantities anymore during checkout. And now this form is complete. This form has the ability for our customer to choose the pricing plan that they want or the price point or even a separate product. That's something I want to emphasize here. We under this form had previously added two price points of the same product, but I could instead add a completely separate product by adding another price point and choosing an entirely different product altogether. I alluded to the fact that in mine, community membership is included inside of Convology Pro. So I could click on Convology Pro here and change the label to say all access membership. And I could place in here includes all courses plus community. And now at checkout, the customer is choosing between the monthly community membership price point, the annual community price point, or in an entirely separate product that just happens in my case to include community membership, but that's totally fine because the SureCart forms can handle multiple different types of products in the single form, even in the price selector. I love this feature. I think this is so great compared to something like ThriveCart where ThriveCart forms are tied to a single product. In SureCart, SureCart forms are separate from the product and you have the ability to totally customize them like this. So that's how you create a SureCart form with a price selector option. And that's how you do it for one product or multiple products in the same form.